Hey everyone, this is Darren with Crazy Mental Studio, and in this video we are going to cover setting up Salsa to work with our new asset, Amplitude for WebGL, so that we can get some nice Salsa lip syncing done in a WebGL platform. So first thing we want to do is go ahead and set our scene up here. I'm just going to change some things to get them out of the way. Let's go ahead and get our assets in here. So the first thing, I am going to push our new box head model in here. Okay, and uh, we don't have anything else Crazy Minnow in here just yet, but we do have the uh, new box head model. You can get him on the Salsa Downloads page. Let's put Salsa in here. And uh, we don't need this stuff for this demonstration. Okay, Salsa's in, and then the next thing we're going to need is our Amplitude asset. And then last but not least, to make this really easy, we've got an add-on for Amplitude that is called Amplitude Salsa, and that basically just allows a very easy connection between the two. All right, and before I forget, let's go ahead and set our build settings, our target to WebGL. And we do have a uh, blog page for our Amplitude asset and also for the Amplitude Salsa add-on. So you can get to these on our web page. Just search for Amplitude and uh, it should show you all the relevant articles. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and get our box head model into the scene. So let's drag him up here. And we'll do uh, kind of a manual setup with this and get him ready for pretty much all the things that Salsa can do. So we'll even do a little bit of eye tracking on the camera and whatnot. But uh, first thing we want to do is go ahead and rock him back up on that x-axis so we'll clear that negative 90 that's on there. Now before we rotate him or do anything with him for randomize, we need to add the randomized component while he's facing in the z-positive direction. So let's go ahead and add our uh, randomize 3D. And we've got that. And while we're in here, let's go ahead and add our salsa 3D. And we might as well go ahead and throw amplitude on there and We'll add our Amplitude Salsa component. All right, now let's get this stuff configured. So Salsa, first thing we want to do uh, with Boxhead, he complies with our naming convention, so we can just auto-link him. That should be good. And we'll leave our audio source play on awake. Let's go ahead and add an audio file to this. And Amplitude, uh, we need to link our audio source in. Amplitude Salsa has already picked up on the Salsa component and the Amplitude component, so that is pretty much good to go. If we were using 2D, we would select that here. So we'll leave the sample size down to 32. That's the smallest you can use. And uh, we may need some boost on this, so let's let's hold off on minimizing that just yet. But uh, one of the first things we want to do here with randomize is go ahead and uh, link this up. And then we've got to move this little gizmo that's attached. And it needs to be right between the eyes. So you can more or less eyeball this. That looks good. All right. Now let's uh, spin him around so he's facing the camera. Uh, let's spin box head around. 180 degrees, and we see him there. Let's go ahead and zoom that camera in. Let's have him offset just a little bit so he's not staring straight at the camera with his head. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, let's go ahead and move box head over. That's perfect. Okay, all set up. Now, in order to do the eye tracking, we need to have a target. So let's drag the camera in there to the look target. And uh, we'll give it an affinity. We want him to look at it most of the time, but be able to drift off. Okay, that looks good. Let's go ahead and play that and see how that looks. Moving out! Cover me! 
I'm out! Reloading! Okay, so one of the things I forgot to do is we want to unlink from Salsa. We want to unlink the audio source because we want Amplitude to drive it. So just click and delete. This is a new feature in the latest release, 1.5.5, which allows you to actually unlink this audio source and Salsa will not try to relink it when it starts up now. And the main reason you want that We'll switch this to debug mode so you can see. There is a field called average, and uh, you can actually write to this average and let Salsa actually convert that into the lip sync for the character. And that's what we'll be doing with our uh, amplitude for WebGL. We'll be directly writing that in. So as we saw, we probably could use a little boost. Moving out! Cover me! Just to increase the dynamics I'm of out. the lip sync. Reloading! I'm reloading! Watch my six! Maybe, maybe too much there. Incoming fire! Get oh, down! Maybe not enough. Watch our flanks! Okay, we Look see a little bit of you. jitter there, so maybe that's boosting up too much noise go, in it. Go, go, go! All right, so uh, we'll Move do it, it at about 1.5. Or, I'm sorry, 0.5. And that's pretty much all we need. And let's just confirm Salsa is not grabbing that audio source when we start up. Moving out! See, nothing Cover here. Me. We get a little message saying that there's I'm no out. audio source reloading. link, but Amplitude is writing directly to that average value. Six. Okay, so that's really all there is to it. And then you've got WebGL with Salsa, which we never had in the past, using our newest asset, Amplitude. So let's go ahead and build this. Add our scene. And through the miracle of film, we are able to make that look like it is not the laborious, horrendously long process that it is. All right. We are going to launch this in Firefox because it's one of the only browsers that allows us to actually view this without it being served. This doesn't work in Safari at the moment. So we'll load up our WebGL. Moving out! Cover me! I'm out! Reloading! I'm reloading! Watch my six! Incoming fire! Get down! And there you get the point. That is all there is to this. So I hope that was uh, informational and will help you out with getting your Salsa lip sync working in a WebGL environment using our newest asset, Amplitude for WebGL. We hope you have a lot of fun with this. And uh, as always, we look forward to seeing what you create.